I'm going to show how to make and can chile de arbol salsa. There are only four main ingredients. Fresh tomatillos, dried arbol peppers, garlic cloves, and onions. The seasoning will be salt or garlic salt depending on your preference. The following recipe will make 9 to 10 pints of salsa. Collect 10 pounds of fresh tomatillos in a clean kitchen sink. Remove the outer husks of each tomatillo in this manner. Discard the husks and thoroughly wash each tomatillo. Then set the tomatillos aside to drain. Next, prepare the dried arbol peppers. With gloved hands, break open each dried pepper and remove the seeds in this manner. Continue this process until all the peppers have been seeded. Collect the seedless peppers in a container and set aside. Next, measure and prepare the ingredients. Start by measuring out 10 pounds of tomatillos, one and a half ounces of arbol peppers, two ounces of garlic cloves, and two large onions cleaned and chopped. Each ingredient should be cooked in a certain manner. The tomatillos should be cooked until blistered. In other words, some of the skin should be blackened with a softened core. This can be achieved by broiling in an oven, grilling on a hot grate, dry frying in a cast iron skillet, or my favorite method, the one I'm showing you here, using a 36 inch cast iron griddle. Heat the griddle up on low heat with an oil shined top. Add the 10 pounds of tomatillos and intermittently turn them. Continue turning and letting them sit until you get your desired doneness. I prefer to cook until I see a significant amount of skins have been blistered and blackened. The amount of blistering does affect the flavor so you may want to experiment with smaller batches first. Then create some space and transfer the tomatillos to a stock pot. Once all the tomatillos have been transferred, set aside and clean the griddle. Clean by lightly scraping the top of the griddle, removing any burnt and leftover residual. Then apply a liberal amount of olive oil to the surface. Spread the oil out evenly across the surface of the hot griddle. Next, drop the two chopped onions on the griddle and the two ounces of garlic cloves. Saute until they are soft and slightly browned. Once done, transfer to the stock pot with the tomatillos. Now add the one and a half ounces of arbol peppers to the hot griddle. Toss and turn the peppers until they are slightly blackened. I strongly recommend doing this outside with a good breeze. The smoke from the peppers could result in miserable coughing and tearing if you don't have a well ventilated area. Once blackened, transfer them to the stock pot. Next, stir the contents well, blending the ingredients together. Obtain a blender and set up a station in this manner. Ladle the mix into a blender and puree. Then, collect all the salsa in another stock pot until all the mix has been blended. Once filled, Season the salsa to taste using garlic salt or regular salt. Then stir until all the salt has been dissolved. The salsa is now ready to can. Use the water bath technique for canning. Start the lids in a simmer pot on low heat. The salsa on high heat to a boil and the water-filled canner on high heat to a boil. 
At this point, if you want a thinner salsa, add some water. I usually add one pint of water and stir in real well. Have at hand sterile jars. You can do this by boiling them in the water. Or plan ahead and use the sterilization setting on your dishwasher. Use the jar lifters to place the hot sterile jars on a towel next to the cooking pot. Prep each jar with citric acid. Use a quarter teaspoon for each pint jar. Then, using a ladle and a canning funnel, fill the jars with a simmering salsa. Make sure to leave a one inch headspace in each jar. Then, select a lid from the simmering pot and place it on the clean and dried rim of the jar. Then, take a ring and thread it onto the jar. Gently hand tighten until the lid has been safely seated. Do not over tighten and compromise the seal. Next, take jar lifters and transfer to the water bath canner. Repeat this process with the rest of the contents until the canner has been loaded to capacity. Once the canner rack has been filled, submerge the cans into the boiling water and cover. Process in boiling water for at least 20 minutes. Once the time has ended, remove each jar from the canner and place it on a towel to cool. Allow them to cool for 12 to 24 hours. Always make sure the cans are well sealed with concaved lids before consuming. Serve topped with diced onions and chopped cilantro.